Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're gonna talk about a topic which is literally blowing my mind away and this is the panorama of the World's Fair, one of the or actually the biggest World's Fair in 1904 in St. Louis in USA. Now the strange thing about this particular event is that there were actually movies about this thing and even that, not just that guys, this place was completely destroyed, annihilated after the event took place. And why is that? Why would they tear down literally palaces of buildings? Uh, this is the fair from St. Louis in 1904. As you can see here, the buildings are just amazingly beautiful. Lots of detail, a very advanced civilization. And then suddenly, guess what? They tear it down and now there's just a shitty building there, just literally grass everywhere. And that's pretty much it. The place was just astonishing crazy. This is the place where actually they brought in the technology from the reset and they sold it to the actual uh, governments and people who are now controlling the world. This was called the St. Louis Purchase Exhibition because it was a place for people to go and basically buy all of this technology. There were so many palaces. Look at this. The palaces were ginormous, gigantic. And now we're going to move on to a clip from a movie where they actually actually talk about the mud flood re reset which is just mind-blowing now in that movie they actually go to the event as well to this to this particular event before you look at that video look at this guys these are the humans look at, these are obviously the illustration of the people and these are the palaces the palaces are just ginormous we have here one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, let me go back to that, uh, 10, 11, maybe 12, 13, 14, so 15, maybe almost 15 massive gigantic palaces and each of them was an exhibit for different countries, for different technologies. If you go here, it's really hard to read, but you have the Palace of Machinery, Manufacturing, Electricity, Forestry, Variety of Industries, Transportation, and all the buildings for different states, different governments from the USA, and then we have the Pike of Midway and and the foreign pavilion which has Austria, Belgium, Canada, Cairo, Cuba, France, Japan, Morocco, Niger Nicaragua. I mean it's just so many countries here in this expo which is crazy. This place was just crazily uh, po popular and people would go there and they would go to the expo. The expo actually started between the 30th of April and it ended on December the 1st. Okay now let's look at this particular clip because it's just wild. Now, in this movie here, we have a family of members who are going to the expo. So, first and foremost, uh, when they go here and the kids meet them up, uh, obviously they come from a very rich family, as you can see here. Uh, very posh, everything is very, 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 like, high standard. Look at what they're saying here. Very important. First and foremost, they go into this one, and then the girl is going to talk to this guy. And look at this, look at this. Tell him, Judy. To the Louisiana Purchase Exposition. <laughs> and then they're laughing. Why are they laughing? She's saying to the Louisiana Purchase Exposition, okay, which is just very interesting. Now, moving forward, this is the bit here, which are, this is obviously the expo here. It's obviously like lots of amazing statues, designs, technology, just brilliant all, all in all. We have uh, the following. The kids here are eating, obviously, cotton candy, which is bad for their dinner. Now, this guy is telling the girl something very basic. He's just telling her that, oh, you know, like, you're gonna spoil your dinner, basically. And then the girl responds with a very ominous commentary about the reset, about the flooding, and about human corpses everywhere, which is just weird, guys. Look at this. Just wait for this. Okay. Uh, here we are. We're gonna start over here, okay? Check this out. Spoil your dinner. Oh, wait, no, let's go back here. Okay. We'll spoil your dinner. Papa, we love gallivants and flood. Big waves came up and flooded the whole city. And when the water went back, it was all muddy and horrible. Full of dead bodies. Oh, oh dude. Okay, so why suddenly she said like basically a big flood came and uh, it completely covered the city. It was everything covered in mud afterwards and there was lots of bodies everywhere. Kind of like hinting about that reset which we all know that happened and lots of buildings became literally covered in like 
literally mud up to like a couple of stories high right which is very bizarre and also she just drops that like big bomb like in the middle of from nowhere like this guy is just telling her that she's gonna spoil her dinner and then she's giving us this really like hidden message suddenly out of nowhere and then all of them are just laughing and, and normal like oh you know like don't say that that's you know forbidden to say that because we don't want people to know about the reset guys this is just shocking let me show you a second clip where they actually talk about the destruction of the actual expo as well which is just also quite crazy so in this one here we have something quite interesting we have the nuns here which are really quiet almost showing that you know this like there it's hidden in plain sight and then when the expo is starting there's a light show which is quite fantastic as you can see here the light show is really awesome uh, the buildings and everything is just so so cool but then what actually kind of struck me again is uh, the girl asked uh, her granddad something very bizarre uh, and this is how he replies, which is just bizarre. Look at this. Look at look at this scene here. Grandpa, they'll never tear it down, will they? Yeah, and they say, Grandpa, they will never tear this down, will they? Look at what Grandpa has to say about that. Well, they better not. Well, they better not. All right, did you see that? Did you see that? Oh, this no, is just crazy. No, no, no. Uh, he said, well, they better not, as in, well, hopefully that doesn't happen, but we all know that actually it happened. I don't know why the video just stopped here, I just got it froze, but anyway, uh, that's really crazy, guys. So the exposition, the expo, guys, is effectively was an event which was carried forward after the reset at the start of the 20th century, and this is the place where they effectively um, stole, or better said, bought all the technology from the previous Old World Order, and they acquired all this technology which is just crazy guys and it's just so obvious i mean why would you put all these palaces why would you build all these majestic gigantic buildings and then after a couple of months just tear it all down destroy it as if it never existed in the first place it would be a surprise, wouldn't it? I mean, look at this. Opens April the 30th and closes December the 1st. Okay, shocking, guys. Shocking. The amount of work which went into these buildings and this, this event and then just suddenly destroy it all. I mean, who even does that? Like, nobody, right? It just doesn't make any sense, right? And these were proper buildings. And look at the design of these buildings. Like, really intricate, really complex. Like, they were not your average tent or your average, like, prefab plastic building. These were top-notch building, guys, which were effectively with all the flags and tiles hours and everything so yeah it just goes to show that something crazy happened over there a reset happened and it just completely destroyed everything or they erased the technology themselves because they did not want people to know about the actual reset which happened and we have even the movies that effectively back this up with them talking about this event and almost playing it as in that well you know yeah don't talk about this you know it's it's happened but that's okay you know don't uh, and but the, obviously the movie director wanted people to know and that's why they inserted these like small snippets of messages in the actual movie which is just shocking guys but that's it for this video so remember guys really important this expo is not what you think this was a place where lots of dark things happened where they effectively stole humanity's technology from the old world order and now they're using it pretty much against us making us pay money for electricity for example when it's actually completely free and you can even use atmospheric energy for free if you had the ability without having to pay any money for it but of course we have to pay money and get poorer and poorer so guys that's it for today's video as always i shall see you later in the next one